Hey everybody, welcome back to what I think is episode 16 of Xeno Gears. We've done this for almost what, 16 whole hours or whatever. Oh shit, that was the end. I fucking ended that last episode on a cliffhanger thinking there would be like five more minutes of fighting. Oh god. I thought, what a fucking dick tease I am. So, we just beat up a giant bomb. Look at all that experience, goddamn. Uh, we just beat up a giant bomb, and uh, we're trying to stop them from nuking uh, the site from orbit. That's the only way to be sure, because um, they're nuking it because phase here. We got an item called Hit Point Drive, which I'll explain later. Um, I should probably write that down, but whatever. Uh, yeah, I'm going to write that down. Y'all get to hear me make... Notes live live on on stream HP drive and then put a checkbox next to it so I can check off when I've done it. Um, but phase in Nortune, so uh, so these this we, these weird techno people are using Gebler to bomb Nortune, and so now we're trying to stop this bomb from hitting the main civilian area. And here's Ellie. She's just kind of being a child in the last episode and being like, I have no place to belong, so I'll murder everyone so that people will accept me. And I'm a child. And I talked a lot about how Faye's character sucks for the first 15 hours of the game because he has no fucking agency, really. But he kind of gets it here. Ellie kind of... Ellie is less, not a damsel in distress, but she's kind of an angsty teen also for... Actually, I think it takes Ellie a lot longer to turn around. Which is troublesome for me, because that's these are not the type of characters I like to enjoy, but I know where they come from, so I still like them. Or I know, I know how they end up, so I still like them. Um... But, like, like, for somebody who might have been watching this for the first time, just looking at these characters and being like, God, these are, like, really bad anime tropes. Which, I mean, they actually kind of are, which I guess is part of the whole Evangelion similarity is a lot of these characters share the same tropes. Especially, from what I hear, Shinji and fucking Faye. Uh... Once again, repeating myself, I'm not five minutes in. So basically, without its pilot anymore, this thing's just free-falling, kind of autopiloting, and so we're literally trying to push it. Oh, our gears are fucked. Oh, we ran out of so much fuel fighting that bitch. Actually, we had like very little difficulty with that. I remember that fight being more difficult. But whatever, we did a we did a good job. I think that's what I'm gonna take away from this whole LP is oh, this wasn't as difficult or annoying as I remember it. Cause every time I'm like, oh this part's kinda slow or blah blah blah. Once I do it in the LP it's like, oh that was only like five minutes of exposition. It was fine. Hey look, Ellie's doing her best now, Ganbate. Good for her. Yeah, I think that that's one of the two things I'm going to take away from this. Is like, Faye and Ellie's characters fucking suck right in the beginning for the first 15 hours of the 50, 60 hour game. Um, and the weird gameplay or exposition shit that I found really annoying as a kid really isn't too bad. So, that's cool. Ah. <sighs> So, I, don't know, I guess I'll try for a little audience interaction here. How's everybody doing? It's like late January, early February when this is coming out, most likely. Uh, are you, are you guys? Did you did you stick to your New Year's resolutions? As this chick dies and takes a bomb harder than anybody has taken a bomb in the history of ever. Actually, like, this is a brutal fucking death here. If it happens, I'm not gonna... 
I'm not gonna spoil it one way or the other for you guys. So like, I hope I hope that the suspense is like really gripping you, but it looks like we've did done the best we could. Oh shit, something's happening. Oh god. There's a light. It's moving. Actually, this is kind of super interesting. Also, like, look at these poor fuckers are fucked. What was that? What gear is that? Is that Graf's gear? It is. Um, yeah, it is. Just wait till you see what happens. Oh, there's Ellie. She's about to get all burnt up. Oh, Graf protected her. I wonder why. There's a there's a weird fish eye shot coming up very soon here that made me think it wasn't Graf's gear, but another gear very similar to Graf's. The first time I played through this, and I looked at it, and I'm like, "Who are these people?" <laughs> and looking back, I don't know, kind of stupid. Because look, it looks like a fat thing, but that's its arms crossed over its body, like we've seen a million times, just not from this, and it is a little fish-eyed here. But like, I thought that was a different thing. Also, you've never seen Graf's gear with the wings out until this point. So, spoilers if you guys didn't realize that, but yeah, that's Graf's gear, so that's kind of a thing. Yeah. So Ellie was protected from the explosion. A lot of people died, but it could have been a lot worse. So we did okay. We did fine. And we got our gear back, so, you know... We got that going for us. Oh shit, I just realized another super annoying fight that's coming up. Who knows, maybe it once again won't be as bad as I remember it. Especially with my characters over leveled and shit, but whatever. Um, but hey look, we found Ellie. She's okay. I bet Faye's happy about this. Because she's like, his friend? And as far as he knows, she's like the only one that's alive. <laughs> Cause as far as they know, Bart's fucking dead. So that's kind of brutal. I think he's just kind of overwhelmed by the fact that all those fucking people died. <laughs> Which, considering the fact that he barely knew any of the people there, I mean, t t canonically, he probably spent a couple weeks um, in D block at least. You know, for us, it was a matter of hours. But, uh, like, this is an entirely different reaction to a massive loss of human life compared to what happened in the village in the beginning of the game, which, I mean, honestly, may be just because. Ah, uh, words I can't think of. I think that may have just been because of like the fact that he was so shell-shocked but he really I mean also he didn't have any agency in the beginning but whatever um but yeah like it it, it impressively different reaction to a massive loss of human life and the fact that he also seems to have a personal stake in Ellie now because she's his friend and they might end up being more than friends. I'm just gonna lay that out right now. I'm sorry I'm whispering shittily into my mic. It's probably gonna sound fucking terrible in the LP. <gasps> so, not only did they lose a bunch of their industrial complex shit from bombings, we're also gonna steal their basically trump card for the war that we've kind of seen holograms of already. May or may not happen for us, but I guess we're going to see. Um, so, part, what, two, three, seven of our daring escape from Norchun is going to be to steal the largest ground-based military weapon thing that anybody has, which is actually kind of fucking cool. And... It leads to some really interesting stuff, but it's also going to be another one of this game's, like, super jarring transitions from one area to the next. Uh, yeah. 
the military facility north of the capital. Actually, this is really interesting because Ellie's like, oh yeah, I, that's that's where I got the Veltal. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know there was... <laughs> Shit. It's actually kind of cool. So, this is one of the... This is about to be one of the first points in the game where we have more party members that can then can fit in the party. Um, and I'm going to pick a very specific party makeup. Uh... And I'll explain why later. It's not that big of a deal. Um, but uh, we've still got a little bit more to do here in Nortoon. Uh, so let's go around. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you about Master Rico, bro. Rico, bro. Yeah, and I brought up our plan to escape from the capital. Says he can't help us, though. So Rico helped us with that thing and then just kind of fucked off. Um... And as you can imagine, that's kind of... Shut up! Pedometer. My pedometer's yelling at me saying, It's been an hour! <sighs> Alright, we must hurry to Ave. I don't know why Ave specifically, but... Like, obviously we have to look for Bart. But, uh... We've got some more cool stuff to do here. Stuff that has to do with things that we done did... Before. Um... A couple episodes ago... Uh, that seemed like it was dumb at the at, at the time, and seemed like something I shouldn't have done, but it's kind of important, actually. Not kind of important, it's interesting is what it is. Something I have to tell Ellie. This is... I don't remember if this is ever explained. Yeah, I don't... Sorry, I was... I'm trying to remember if that ever comes up. Um, and I gen genuinely don't remember. Um, but those two's... Those two kind of get linked together and kind of a fuck... Oh, shit! I went the wrong way. Shit. Damn it. Poop. Uh, those two get kind of linked together in a really fucked up way later in the game, so it's interesting that he pulls her aside. So why are we... Oh, uh, well, I guess we did steal our gear. Which is kind of a big, important deal. Also, where are we hiding our gears? I mean, it's not really important for the story, but... It seems like kind of a big deal that now there's just three gears... Well, two gears, Faze and Ellie's, floating around. So you can either try and run away or just fucking murder everybody. So we're gonna murder everybody. And everybody's like, Faye, what are you doing? Faye, what the fuck is the matter with you? We're just gonna start killing people? Yeah, let's fucking murder them. I'm Faye. I have agency now. I chose to kill these people. Oh, shit! They all got fucking one-shotted by Rico actually interesting um, and if I remember correctly necessary so look at this Rico's gonna help us out isn't that cool so we've got a really good gear character and that's important um, and he's probably gonna stick around in our party for a bit because of that So now we got four party members. We got Faye, Ellie, Saiten, Satan, and Rico, Ardo, Bando, Ariso. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm sorry. Yeah. I have no time to dawdle around here. Who heard this scuffle? How do we know anybody heard the scuffle? Also, there's two battling champs who fucking murder everybody. And the Kislev officer, and this guy Satan, who's like secretly a badass, murdered shit out of everybody. All right, so no, we're not actually done there. We have to go back in. Oh, hey, look, it's it's Big Joe. I almost called him Beautiful Joe. 
You want to hear about my super muchacho information? You're the one who stole 5,000 fucking G from us, bro. We're gonna kill you. And Big Joe's just like, no, it's it's fine, Mr. Superman. He knows us here. What a fucking shitty character. He becomes the most important vendor in the game. Um, at the end of the game. So yeah, hey, guess what? Big Joe survives. So we don't kill him here. He's got info. Keep it up and you'll just piss me off. You're all in a group, right? In that case, you need to change your party. Actually, this is genuinely useful information for people who don't know it already like I do. Um, basically, I gotta go to the Wildcat Bar. There's a deep, deep reason. As deep as the deepest ocean for doing what I did. As a way for making it up for it. Making it up for it. So, I have to talk to him to do the thing. So I guess it was fine that I came out here instead of going and immediately doing it. But, uh... Shit, where am I trying to go? Just keep going around in a circle until I find that damn thing. First, I want to go in here, though. And I'm going to do something stupid. Excuse me, could you please move? You're in the way. Oh, wait, it's this one. The one in the maid outfit. The... Early old school maid outfit that doesn't fit in this world, but whatever. Look, she's super scared of people. She's crying. She's like, I'm sorry, it's my first day. Yeah, I want to change my party. So I'm going to do something that's relatively stupid. I say relatively because Faye's so fucking overpowered it doesn't matter. But I'm going to be switching out Rico for our healer. So we don't really have a dedicated healer at this point. We have a big, slow fist. Shit. I hit the wrong fucker. God damn it. No. No, I don't want to. No, shut up. I don't care that it's your first day. Fuck off. She's going to apologize super hard here. She knows. She knows I was going for the damn door. How could you so. Please. Ah, don't laugh at her. She still needs a lot of training, so go easy on her. Maybe if you didn't stand by the door, I wouldn't have to yell at you, bitch. But anyways, back to what I was talking about. Yeah, I switched out the healer. Um, so, hey look, we're back here. Huh? Somebody dropped something here. Obtained a music disc. So that's important, because we basically paid 5,000 g to have him show up and get the music disc that we can use in this jukebox. And jukeboxes later in the game. See if it works? Yeah! Let's listen. Oh look, we can listen to music, so let's listen to emotion! Since we are teenagers, can't handle our emotion! Oh, everything's sad, sad, Yasunori Mitsuda music, piano music, it's actually a wonderful track. Everything he did in this game is fucking wonderful. Okay, so we got the music disc, and that's... Not really relevant to the LP, but hey, I showed you I showed you people's how 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 I showed you. You guys know up, oh, I went the wrong way. You guys know how we did it. You guys are you guys are aware. So I guess we've got that going for us. I'm trying to jump out there we go. I'm trying to jump out without jumping into the toilet. Um I wanna check out the weapon shop. Uh, because Ellie uses rods. I think this is the weapon shop. This is one of the shops. Oh wait, this is a tool shop. This is where you go for tools. Tools like Rico. Ha 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 ha. Okay, so this is the first time you can buy uh, uh, you can buy the next level healing items like these Aquasols, uh, Rosasol, Zetasol, Metasol, Megasol, Survival Tent. I think that I'm 90% sure that's the first time you can buy uh, the S level Aquasol. Which is important, because then we can use that uh, in battle. We've still got all that hob, hob jerky steak. Where's the fucking weapon shop? Is this it? Nope, that's the way out. Uh, we can still use the hob jerky steak crap uh, out in the world. Man, I'm gonna know it when I see it, but I'm like, I feel disoriented right now. There's the fuck, there's the bar. Here it is, sweet. There's even a weapon on the door. Um, but yeah, we can use the hob gina in the world, but if we need healing in a pinch, now we got them aquasol S's. 
Alright, so... Got four of those. Let's grab a few of those. Brain Guard. Blocks Forget Effect. I don't think I've ever seen the Forget Effect. I think that might be Blocks Confusion. We'll grab two of those because that's going to become important later. Grab a new weapon for Ely. Please come again. All right, let's equip all our people. Because I think Ellie's still wearing the same crap from... Okay, we got the metal jacket. Power ring S and speed ring. Is there speed ring S yet? I know you get one at some point. I guess not here. Yeah, she's still got her pilot uniform on. Let's get that off of there and put you in some sexy cosplay chain mail. Get rid of the fencing cap. Uh, leather hat, metal helmet. Ether Veiler doubles elemental defense. Good point. Blocks confusion effect. Oh, that's what Cool Shades is for. Poison Guard. I guess Brain Guard is for forget, but I've never seen the forget effect. So I, don't, I have no idea. Like, seriously. Throw an evasion ring on her. Why not? Switch out her weapon for the hot rod. Because, you know, she's hot! Look at her damage versus Faze and Rico's, though. But that doesn't matter because she has ether attacks. And um, very soon I'm going to grind off camera uh, because she gets area of effect ether attacks that makes her wildly useful um, in a lot of PvP areas and grinding areas, um, especially once we're past the point of needing to work on death blows. Oh, we don't want to go this way. Yeah, I get it. Most of the doors... Shit. Got caught up on their weird tricycle. Most of the doors are blocked off. Not that one. It's the south one. That's where we killed... That's where Rico killed all those people. Which, he's a prisoner, so, you know, fuck it. I should have talked to those guards. Because they get super... Oh, back pain. They get super, like, worried when they see us, because they're like, Oh, even if we saw the wanted battler people, we would... We would... They would just be able to murder the shit out of us, so we would just, you know, leave it be. And not bother them at all. Alright. No, bitch! Son of an ass! I gotta save. And then cut. To do some sick, sweet, off-camera revering. Yeah. So if you take a look here. Faye's good. Rico's good. Holy shit, does Ellie need any, any, any death blow. She has zero. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to come right back. See you guys in literally no time. Hey, and we're back. What was, once again, no time at all for y'all was like a week and a half, maybe two weeks for me. Just got busy. Um... We did the grinding to get the the death blows for Ellie. It's over here. There she is. She's she's right next to Rico there, and we're about to go we're about to go do some more raiding here. Um, I didn't worry about her level or anything. Oh, one thing. One other thing I did off screen was I upgraded some of the gears because Ellie's gears in particular was woefully under equipped. I think her gear had like 1,500 hit points. And like a like a absolutely horrible engine. But here we are, and we're ready to keep on going. And since I don't have to worry about grinding these motherfuckers, I can just beat the shit out of them. And I will attempt to show off some of Ellie's uh, stuff here. Uh, some of her some of her stuff past Screamer. I don't even know if y'all saw Screamer, but it doesn't matter. Ellie is a pretty, like, physically weak character. Surprisingly enough, right now, her, uh... Her gear... Holy shit, I need to heal her. Uh, surprisingly enough, right now, her gear does more damage than Faze. Uh, but only by a little. Uh, but that'll work. That'll work out for us, um... Here, in the near future. I'm really wasting a lot of time fighting this motherfucker. Whew! So let's see, has anything important happened since the last time I was recording? I don't think so. 
Just a lot more bullshit with the uh, with school stuff. Oh, I had a birthday in between the last recording session, and now I'm 31 years old. I'm officially less than 30 years away from being 60, so, you know. Fuck me. Yeah. Happy birthday to me. I belong to the AARP. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, what a horrible way to start to restart this. Holy shit. Ah. Uh, I got super drunk last night. That was that was cool. It had nothing to do with this. What we're what we're seeing here. Get with that double shock. Oh, I should show off her ether shit. I will we'll show it off in the dungeon up here soon because it's actually gonna be very useful soon and the reason we have it. But um, actually, I will really quickly show that off. Come on, open the menu. Alright, so abilities. Ellie. So these are her single enemy attacks, and these are her area attacks. Nemo Burn, Terra Storm, Aqua Mist, and Thermo Dragon, all of which the names are cool as shit. Um, those are... Uh, those are good, but those aren't her best ones that she gets. She gets much better ones later in the game. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll, we won't worry about that yet. Come on, give me a bunch of dudes I can ether up. Yeah! No. Alright, so do we do... I'll do the lightning attack, fuck it. Look at this magic! Oh! Murdered the shit out of all of them! Yeah! At least a horrible murderer! Actually, in some cases, Ellie's great for grinding experience, not uh, other stuff, but experience specifically, because once you have all of the um, death blow stuff leveled up, um, it, and you're just grinding to get... Oh, we need to switch to gears now. So this is the hidden factory, whatever it's called. Um, but once you're just grinding for experience and you're just trying to kill everyone as quickly as possible... Ellie is really great because she can one-shot groups of enemies like that. So this dungeon, it's, it's kind of small, honestly. It's a pretty small dungeon. Hey, look, this guy's here. Oh, it's Hammer! I forgot. <laughs> so Hammer came through and did all the sneaky, sneak, sneak shit for us and took care of... <laughs> Don't worry about the details, I'm the information man. He's a hacker. Hacking us with hacking with his weird glasses and horse face. It's probably more otter-like, but whatever. So you can do everything here with hammer. Uh, just triple check to make sure everybody has all the stuff we need. Yeah, the good armor, the best frame. She's got a. She's got a better uh, engine by default than uh, everybody else. Not worried about Heimdall. Actually... Yeah, he's got the right one. He's got that. I don't think I'm going to have to rely on uh, Doc's gear at any point here. Less than equal. No, I will not change. Frame 69. <laughs> I'm a child. And he's got a better armor by default, too. All right, really quickly, double check. Weapons. Yep, I got the hot rod equipped. Go get him, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is a slightly frustrating but relatively short uh, dungeon. It's got a good boss at the end. Um... Because it ch it has it has its own gimmick and it changes up uh, the way you do things or the way you have to do things because it's kind of a puzzle boss more than an actual boss even though the boss can totally push your shit in. So if I remember correctly, these guys oh I guess they do not get one shotted. I'm pretty sure Rico can one shot these motherfuckers. But this is a really interesting. Um, 
version of gear that we haven't seen. Ah, it's a really interesting version of gear we haven't seen before, uh, because it's a gear designed specifically to do something. For the most part, we've seen gears that are like humanoid, right? Wow, Faye is weak as shit. Uh, for the most part, we've seen gears that are humanoid, and while these gears are slightly humanoid, they're basically big fucking howitzers. God damn, Rico, you fuck, you suck. Look at that, look at how fucking bad he is. Damn it, let me waste all my fuel here. Um, and you run into... The further into the game you go, you end up running into more gears that are specifically designed to do a job. Um, which would make sense coming from a... Um, coming from these two countries that are at war, because first they find these kind of humanoid ones, and they're like, oh, this is really good. Let's build one that just has a fucking cannon attached to it. Alright, let's see. Can two X attacks take these guys out? Yes. Okay, good to know. Let's see if we can actually get Rico to do something here. Damn! See? He wants shots! He doesn't always hit, but when he does, he fucking murders him. Alright, get that double impact in. She's got a combo that's like a Devil May Cry million stab, which is, uh... Pretty cool. Actually, I think it's not these ones. There's items hidden in some of the. There's one right there. Received gold nugget. Yeah, boy. I completely forgot what I was saying. I get distracted so easily. I'm like a child. Jesus. Everything's going poorly. They haven't shot at us with... Oh, the moment I say it, they shoot at us with the big fucking howitzer. Yeah, he totally one-shots these guys. Real nice. You hurt him. Hurt him good. I'm sitting here kind of like... Stretching to come up with shit to say, yeah. Which is kind of dumb to admit. But, like, there isn't too much to say at this point. Um. Because there isn't too much. Like, we're kind of at, a, at an, at an in-between in the story here. Um. One of the reasons I'm not too keen on this area is just because it is slow. Because, I mean, what's happened so far? We just finished that big... Ah, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We just finished that big purge sequence. Um, and now we're basically in a long extended dungeon transition to the next, you know, section of the story. Where not too much interesting is happening, outside of the fact that we're, you know, stealing a big giant thing. Um, he gets for a lot with his regular one. He's good. It's just kind of like, yep, here we are. How you guys doing? Do you guys like... Do you guys like stamps? Does anybody have a stamp collection? Does anybody want to talk about a strained relationship with their father? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Man, I am so... Like... Normally by the end of the semester, because I am currently in college instead of doing anything else meaningful with my life, which, you know, whatever. Um, but it's right at the end of a semester, right before the holiday season, and normally I'm like, like, intellectually and mentally drained by the end of, hey, that's a good level, by the end of the semester. Not so much this one, because it, it, it was a fairly easy semester, but I got one fucking class that's just horseshit. Just the, the worst professor ever, with the worst material that everyone knows is never going to apply to anything, even though it's a class specifically for my major. Ugh. Enough bitching about my problems.
Part of the reason I got so drunk last night. I got so fucking frustrated. I've never rage quitted an assignment before, but I totally rage quitted an assignment last night. And then went to basically go get drunk. Okay, so this is the reason we brought Ellie along, because those little motherfuckers, remember fighting them on foot in the gear dock raid, um, here, these motherfuckers will repair gears. So you want to take them out as quickly as possible, and ether attacks are the most efficient way to do that. Oh shit, apparently they're the most efficient way to take out those things too, so... We know what we're doing with Ellie here. Damn it, I should have tested that. Once again, I'm wasting everyone's time. It's the entire point of YouTube. Damn, that was instant how we got back into that. So does a regular attack do enough to kill? No, but it gets close. Okay, that's good to know. That's a good way to save fuel. Wow, she has a lot more fuel than the others. Look at that. Come on, get him. Yeah! Almost the most efficient battle. <laughs> Alright. Item here. O2 cylinder. So episode 12, I think, just released the other day. And I was watching that and super enjoying that. Alright, let's use the fire attack. So here's the reason that this isn't, or that these aren't Ellie's best spells yet, because they're area spells. So as you can see, these guys are separated into what's considered different areas, so I can't hit all of them. I can only hit one group or the other group. Still okay. It's still manageable, but it's just, you know. Um, later in the game... Wow, that did not... Oh, yeah! I'll talk about that in a second here, because she said, sorry, I failed. Um... So, for some reason, I'll talk about it now, for some reason, Ellie's spells have a random chance of failure. And I don't know why. Um, I think it's supposed to be a character flaw thing. Um, it gets fixed later, not until much, much later in the game. But it does get fixed later. Uh, through plot. Um, but not in the way you're thinking. Does he have Radiance yet? No, he does not. So hitting these people is enough to kill them. The lightest attack. So we'll probably use... Rico to punch that last guy and use Ellie to burn the group up top. It was the landslide one that worked okay on them. I don't think it has anything to do with uh, resistances. She just randomly has a chance of doing like like a quarter of the normal damage. <laughs> he just fucking shoots them from his face. It's so brutal. We grab the stuff. We're going on. We're, we're doing okay. We're nowhere near done, so... Like, get that out of your head. Let's try... Water attack. Or ice attack, technically. Hey! There's a good hit. Kill him! Yep, we... Eventually, Faye gets an area of effect and an attack all enemies on screen spell. Um... Though his is not nearly as, uh... Actually, his does more damage than anybody's in the game, but, like, the, the, the amount of ether points it takes to do it is, um... Damn. The amount of ether points it takes for him to do it is really... Like, really high. So it ends up not being really useful for grinding a regular play. It actually ends up not really being useful for the game in general, which is kind of frustrating. There's never any point where it's like, oh, I gotta use phase ether attacks. Um, like his first one, just in terms of damage output versus 
Oh, we didn't get to see it, but they were riding a little sled. Uh, his first attack, big shot or power sh whatever the fuck it's called, is... Six. Yeah, his first one is unfortunately the best, just based on damage output versus amount of ether points used. Kind of frustrating, but it could be... It could be worse. It could always be worse. Um, just one of the quirks of the battle system. We're carrying through this fairly quickly, though. Might even be done with this by the end of the episode. I hope. Hey, he learned his Square Triangle X attack. So what level is he? Let's see. Is he, he is level 38, so Ellie's got two levels before she learns her next step below. Let's keep on keeping on. There's no way to avoid these. I don't know. I don't know why there's a, why they do it like that instead of just having the random battles. I'm wonder. I wonder if it's not like a throwback to. Uh, what's the word for? Hey, there's some good damage. I wonder if it's not a throwback to Chrono Trigger, where you could see the enemies before having the fight with them. Damn. It's like a truck. At least they're repairing the guy I haven't attacked yet. Um, and I'm not sure, but I think it might actually... Oh, wow, that still did it. I think that might actually repair their hit points past... Oh, she's out of uh, stuff. Damn it. I think that might actually increase their hit points past their normal limit. Like, I think the way they have these characters set up, and I could be wrong, is that they, they spawn into the battle with, like a tenth of their potential hit points or whatever. Like I said, could be wrong. Shit. So you can see why I bring Ellie along, because those guys, uh... are clearly a problem. Where they're hitting this motherfucker for... as much damage as... I can deal to them in a regular hit. Okay. If I'm not mistaken, there's a point where I should be able to get all my fuel and stuff back before the end, because there is a very challenging boss at the end. In the meantime, let's jam some Rosasol in Ellie here. Go! And there's no healing, like, items for gears. Y'all ready for conveyor belt puzzles? Yes, I said conveyor belt puzzles. So basically, we're going the wrong way. We have to go that way, but as you can see, we can't move there. Alright, so we want to go around here to get to that. Oh, I gotta get out of that gear. Let's see, can I do it with just Faye? I cannot. I have to take them all individually, because of my setup, out of their gears. There we go, we did it. I think I talked about it before, because that's the theme of this fucking LP, is talking about the things you did before over and over. Son of a bitch. Um, but because of my setup, there's a, there's a two-button combination. It's either L1 and R1 or L2 and R2 together that just automatically throw you in, throw your entire party into and out of their gears. But because of my setup, it never recognizes that the buttons are pressed at the same time, so it never works. Oh! He poked me! Senpai, no! <laughs> oh, I was at uh, I was at K Barbecue the other day with my friends, um, and we ordered squid. So obviously, obviously the uh, you know tentacles came out. So I pick up the tentacles with my chopstick and I start waving them in my one of my Weeboo buddy friends' faces. And I'm like, Senpai, no! And he lost his shit and started dying laughing. There's the button I need. Okay, so that reversed the direction that the conveyor belt was going. 
but yeah, so I'm a cheeky bastard. And also, normal movement is restricted uh, when you're on these damn things. So the best you can do is kind of walk along with the thing like a pedway in an airport. Okay, so there's that one. Now we need to do... There's a couple of these I need to do. One of these... Okay, that's for the one we just came on. I don't care about that. I want to do that one. Oh boy, the boys came out! Hopefully that's the right one. Hopefully that's the one I needed to flip. Because if it's not, I'm going to be fairly annoyed. Son of a bitch! <laughs> Did I say... that this was relatively short? Actually, this is fine. Yeah, you're dead. Eh, I should have done her triangle triangle. That would have one-shotted that guy. Yeah, you're gonna die. Woohoo! Yeah, that's all it took. Sweet, that makes me happy. We're getting a ton of experience for running through this. Which, I guess, you know, look on the bright side kind of thing. Come on, let me, let me flip it again. Damn it. I'm pretty sure you can press that one more time and uh, an item will come out. Not 100%, but I'm like... Damn. At least he's got the armor to take those hits. We're actually not doing too well on hit points overall. Because Ellie's at what? Like 75%? I mean, a little under, but... Ellie's at 75%. Faye hasn't lost much. Rico's fine. Rico's got so much armor that it almost doesn't matter if he loses hit points at this point. Which is good. For us. That's part of the reason you bring him. He might be a bit of a letdown on the ground outside of his damage, but like in gear, he's he's pretty worth it. Because the fact that he's okay, that is not the switch we need. Where is the switch we need? Is this it? Son of a bitch. Okay. So we need to go up here. Anyways, yeah, his his ridiculous um, speed penalty. Uh, these are areas we'd gone through already. They just locked the camera in place so you couldn't see this before. Uh, but his speed penalty is almost completely mitigated by... Come on, give me items. Yeah! What do we got? Gold nugget. Another gold nugget. They're just throwing these damn things at us. So we want to switch that one. But not that one. It's over here. So we'll switch that. Save really quick. <clears throat> and then continue on. I don't remember if we do or not. Hopefully we run into Hammer again. Come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. So I'm kind of upset. Because um, I've got this sweet new setup that doesn't work with my goddamn recording setup. Oh, look at this ominous... Nothing space. So I've got this sweet new setup that uh, doesn't work with my recording, so I'm recording as usual, which is fine, but probably fairly annoying. Uh, actually, it's probably only fairly annoying for me. Um, but uh, for my birthday, and technically... Okay, here comes the boss. For my birthday and technically Christmas, my wife bought me... A sick, new, gigantic, gorgeous, super high-end Sony 4K TV. Couldn't be happier. Got it set up where the old TV was. 
And so my old TV, old Sharp Aquos, which is a good 1080p TV. It was good at the time I bought it, though you can probably buy it with its firmware and everything right now for like 300 bucks. Um, but that is now the second monitor in my office. I should probably be fighting. So let's see. Hey, he does take some damage. Alright, so we're gonna... Ooh, but he can guard it. Damn, look at that hit. Look at that damage he does. But anyway, so I've got this nice brand new 40-inch screen about two feet away from my... Oh, closer to three, but whatever. Um, I think his ether machine's working. Um, but because of the way, even though it's 1080p display, because of the way it's set up in relation to the monitor with like HDMI out and blah blah blah, it changes the aspect ratio of everything slightly, so it changes the way the recording thing is set up, so I should have the, the display pipe through onto there, and then recording from the laptop monitor. But I can't do that, which is fairly annoying. Because now it's just sitting over there, looking sad. That's not the biggest deal in the world. But it's cool to have, I just can't use it for this here right now. It's no big deal. Okay, so Ellie has shift up. What is this? What is this? Attack up, defense up two, speed up two. So Ellie has the fuel. I should be using the booster on her. So let's see. If this hits 100%, it doesn't do as much damage. Uh, not the worst thing in the world. Let's see if he has any issues with either. No, but it does about as much as the... Ooh. Does about as much as an X attack at this point. A heavy attack. <laughs> that does a little more. I like that. That was the Earth one, I think. So this is... Yep, that was the Earth one. So this is part of the reason Ellie becomes very useful at this point in the fight. Because uh, this guy does a ton of damage. Doesn't take a lot of damage. Even, even from, like, the heaviest hits you can put out like this. Which is still going to do almost a thousand, but... Yeah. Like, look at how much he hits even fucking Rico for. So having Ellie boosted using these ether attacks ends up being very useful because he doesn't... It becomes more effective than physical attacks up to a certain point. And with her, you know, boosted with all that extra... With all that extra fuel her gear has at this point. She becomes basically the best character to use right now. Let's see, can your ether do anything? I wouldn't be surprised if it just does more damage. Oh god, you can see that it's a 2D sprite. Oh, it looked terrible. Alright, let's see. Oh look, he picked up the gear! That was fucking awesome, actually. I love that. It's been a while since I've seen his stuff. Look at you dance around. Dance for me, puppet. Alright. Luckily, these things only take two ether points to use, but I'm probably going to end up using Faye to uh, jam some Rosasol into her here shortly. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. Because... Um, her always having access to her ethers in this fight uh, becomes very important. No, don't touch her! Look at how much fucking damage he just did. Alright. So, she only heals 10%, but the fuel doesn't... The fuel use isn't that bad. Hit him! I just want to make sure she can't be taken out with one hit, because once gears go down, you cannot pick them up. Attack up, defense up two, speed up two. This is why this guy is tough. 
So at this point, he has so much defense that there's no point in using heavy attacks. Um, with uh, Faye and Rico there. So just use the light attacks to get the death blow level up. Or the combo level up. And here's what we were waiting for. So he's all fucked up now. His defense and everything is way, way down. And this is the other reason we have Ellie here. Because those guys will heal this boss. And we do not want that. So I can either hit all three of them or those two. So obviously we're going to hit them. Hopefully she doesn't fail. Hey! Oh shit! That Oh shit! Oh, this is real bad! Oh my god! So we, we need to put a stop to that. Look at how much health they have! Look at how much fucking health they have! This is dire! Wow, she failed. Good job, you idiot. Oh, I brought you to do one thing and you're not doing it. And this guy's getting healed for so fucking much. All, almost all of the work that we have done. This is gonna make this much more difficult. Look at how much fucking damage they do. I mean, it's not that much, to be perfectly honest. But, it's enough to worry me. Come on, take these motherfuckers out. I'm about to use heavy attacks on these little bastards down there. Because <clears throat> this is unreasonable. Wow, he defended that and then healed the boss for as much damage as I dealt. Son of a bitch. There we go. There's a good hit. Good, good Rico. Holy shit. Shit! Is that only gonna hit him? Is that one guy considered a different area from... Wow. That's, uh... Incredibly frustrating. Damn it. Yeah, there's some... Oh, no. Can move again at last. So we're right back to where we fucking started. Pretty much. Holy shit. And that's an issue because of our fuel at this point in time. Let's see. Does this still do alright? Yeah, that does alright. Good news is I have these guys, I have those things saved up. So now he's back at his normal defense, basically. Oh! Did they... They healed him for like 10,000 and I just fucking... Jesus, wow. Okay, cool. I thought that was going to be a lot worse than it was. That, uh... That seemed dire. Yeah, we got some levels. I think Ellie's got her next, uh... Yeah, look at that. Woo, we did it. I am in Excite. Yeah. So that was, uh... That was fairly rough. So, here's the bridge of our sick new battleship, probably, maybe. Can't believe they'd make such a thing. Of course it fucking works! Actually, I don't know if I mentioned it before, but it's probably very beneficial that these guys are stealing this thing at this point in the story. Um... Because this battleship, I mean, when y'all see it, but this battleship is so powerful that it could probably single-handedly raise Bledovic to the ground. Oh, excuse me. God, I'm all gross today. It's all this coffee and hungover. <laughs> Anyways, this thing could probably single-handedly raise Bledovic to the ground. Rico ain't got shit to say. Uh, so the fact that we're taking it before they can retaliate for that, uh, purge means that we're technically saving a ton of lives. 
I think we can do this. So, this thing's sitting here. We're supposed to just basically let some time go by there. That thing's sitting there, so we're gonna use this before some shit goes down. Because, like, spoiler alert, some shit's probably gonna go down. Probably. I say probably. Alright, let's see. Hi, Saitan! Yeah, let's go. Well, everyone, this could be dangerous, so please be seated. For next week's video, yeah! <laughs> Sorry, I'm a bastard, but yeah, we are going to end it there. <laughs> we'll pick up right here where we left off next week, or next video. So, uh, thanks for everybody who came out. God, I ended that with like a wet fart. Yeah, thanks to everybody who came out. Uh, thanks for hanging out. We will see you next time. Goodbye! Bye.